Inflation is still being persistent at record levels, hence analysts are predicting more rate hikes by the US Fed. Let's explore in this video about at least one more steep hike by US Fed in July, its impact on inflation and job market, how stock market gets affected as a result of it, and at the end, my perspective about it alongside effect on gold prices and the mighty US dollar. Hi, my name is Sunny and I make content that affect a common man financially. So let's dive into today's topic, more US rate hikes. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to it alongside smashing that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm, which of course will be highly appreciated. In an effort to control rampant inflation in the US, the Federal Reserve is poised to take another steep hike in their benchmark lending rate. In their next FOMC meeting on Wednesday, analysts are predicting Fed is going to hike its benchmark rate by 0.75%, but others are stating the interest rate hike might be as high as 1%. In such a scenario, it is going to be a second steep hike in succession, whereas in the past, mostly they have moved in increments of 0.25%. I completely understand these are extraordinary times as inflation has reached new heights. As a result, they have to act decisively, aggressively and promptly, which might have some unintended consequences. There are multiple reasons behind Federal Reserve's decision to increase its benchmark rate now, where I think they are left with no other option. Looking at their mandate, which is to control inflation while providing sustainable job opportunities, it seems they have taken a bit longer to react with their monetary policy action. With June inflation of 9.1%, which is nowhere close to their 2% target rate, according to some experts, they have to act more aggressively even though 0.75% rate hike looks steep. There is no doubt. U.S. job market remains strong as of now while showing record low unemployment rate numbers, which are broad indicators that economy as a whole is doing good. Hence, it gives the Fed more room while they are tightening their monetary policy alongside sucking extra liquidity from the economy. But a time will come when increasing rates will soften this surging job demand thus reducing economic activity. The slowdown in new hiring by big multinational companies is clearly evident, but definitely at this stage, outright layoffs are not seen, which is a sign of recession. Some major world economies are showing early signs of slowdown while others are facing shrinking GDP. Now, if you look objectively, it's a matter of time, US will possibly follow the same pattern. Coming out of COVID-19, Rates were ultra low, but stock market became jittery on the news of historic inflation and subsequent rate hikes by the Fed in order to control it. Since falling stock market does affect people's investments alongside their retirement accounts, hence it becomes important for the Fed to take this factor into account while deciding the rate hikes. As Fed is trying to shrink their balance sheet alongside elimination of its asset purchase program, as a result of this, reduction in liquidity is bound to have negative impact on the stock market. Therefore, this benchmark rate affects profitability of companies, thus impacting their valuations as well as stock prices. Rather than confusing the stock market, the Fed tries to send clear signals about its intentions, thus reducing unpredictability and hence bringing price stability in the markets. No doubt, increasing rates by the Fed is going to inflict more economic damage to the economy as they are trying to tame record high US inflation that is well entrenched now. Consequently, there are early signs of slowing economic activity, softening housing market while some companies have stopped new hiring, which will eventually increase the unemployment claims. Looking at softening gold prices alongside a stronger dollar are some of the early indicators where investors need to be watchful about a possible recession in the future. Right now, nobody has a crystal ball to predict whether we will have hard economic lending or not. But one thing is very clear, the times of ultra cheap money and the leverage are long gone. Hence, being financially conservative during times of Fed deleveraging could be a smart thing to do. 
I know most analysts don't like holding on to cash, but with rising rates, asset prices go down. Now cash is king where you can buy good financial assets pennies to a dollar. Hope you get the idea. But that is me, I might be wrong, do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.